Good morning. I'd like to say happy birthday to my daughter, Martha Ann. She's my baby girl. I have four kids, three boys and a girl, and she's the youngest. Today's her birthday. I'd love to celebrate her. She's smart, fierce, brave, intelligent. On top of it all, she's dropped in gorgeous too. Love you, Martha Ann, and I hope you have a fabulous birthday. really cool place. Um, I am super happy to be staying here tonight. And my sister should be getting here in about the next half hour. This place is so cool that I went ahead and booked it for a second night. And I'll show you our room. Nice big room with a sitting lit area over there. And the best thing about the bathtub or the bathroom is the bathtub. It's got a soaking tub, which I've already soaked in. It was amazing. So the words that have been running through my mind all day is, uh, can I be real a second for just a millisecond? Let my garden tell people how I feel a second, which is from Hamilton. But anyway, that keeps running through my mind because I have been so incredibly tired today. By nine o'clock this morning, all I could think about was finding, getting some place where I could lay down for the rest of the day and just be still. My body is just worn out. I think I've done too many days in a row without much rest and that I needed the rest. So I was glad I got in a little early here and I've been soaked in that tub and then I've laid in the bed for a couple of hours and it's felt so good. And, and then um, when my sister gets here, we're gonna go out to dinner and hit up their big showroom Cabela's that they have here and then come back and hit the hay so I can hit the trail tomorrow. I think I may see a zero day in my future sometime soon. We'll see. Got an 8.30 start this morning, back on trail, and 
um, looking forward to get to getting to the pulpit today and the pinnacle. They're supposed to have really great views. Slept like a baby last night. I slept so hard. I feel so much better today and rested. And shooting for 21 miles today, slack packing. So hopefully it will go well. It should. Had a good time with my sister last night. We went and ate the Cracker Barrel. I've been wanting to eat it one since I've been on trail. It was the first chance I had, so enjoyed that. And um, she'll pick me up later today and have another night at that wonderful bed and breakfast. So here we go. We're off. <music> hiking along here and these two guys are going southbound they're day hikers and they asked me if I was through hiking and I said yes and he's like would you like some trail magic I'm like sure what you got I said well we got bananas and we got Mountain Dew Mountain Dew I should be really going good today we'll see life is good Someone had said that the trail got really nice after the pinnacle and it's good for about five miles. And if it stays like this, they weren't kidding. This is super nice. By the way, my new shoes are so awesome. They feel so good. My feet love me again. Today turned out to be a great day. I ended up doing 25.8 miles, and that doesn't include the 0.4 mile trail that I had to do to get back onto the trail. It was a side trail to get back to the Appalachian Trail. And then the site, so I'm over 26 miles today, and I felt really strong. 
and um, some of the sections were rocking them and that some of them were really smooth and, and easy going. And matter of fact, I had was originally planned on doing like 21 miles and then but I was making good time. So I called my sister and changed a pickup location and um, got in some good miles. I realized too that I only have 45 miles left to Pennsylvania and then I'll be in New Jersey. And that's kind of hard to believe, but look out New Jersey, here I come. So something really funny happened today with my sister. We were um, talking about places in Pennsylvania and she said something about Reading, Pennsylvania, which is spelled R-E-A-D-I-N-G, which you would think would be reading. And then it dawned on me, I'm like, wait a minute, in Monopoly, there's there's the four railroads, the Pennsylvania, the B&O, and the short line, and the Reading Railroad. But if it's in Pennsylvania, is it the Reading Railroad? And both of us at the same time, our eyes lit up like, oh my gosh, have we been saying it wrong our entire lives? That it's really the Reading Railroad? So today when I was hiking, I came across uh, the two hikers uh, that, that gave me the trail magic. They were from Pennsylvania, and so I asked him, I go, so is the town pronounced Redding? And he said, yeah, yeah, it is. I said, so in Monopoly, is it the Redding Railroad? And they both just kind of grinned and looked at me. They go, yeah, it is. I'm like, dang, I might learn something new every day.